Sounds nice, Chicago. Thanks. Tonight, Round Rock became the first city in the nation to install smart street lights. The lights come equipped with emergency signals and even security cameras. KITV's Lindsay Lipman got an exclusive demonstration and joins us live from Double Creek Boulevard with a first look. Round Rock is a test city for the new technology, and you can see the difference. Here is an old street light behind me, but right across the street is one of the brand new LED street lights. The companies that make them donated over a hundred of these new LED street lights, and neighbors here say they can see the difference too. Living in this area and being part of this wonderful technology, it's just unbelievable. Before an emergency vehicle enters Maggie Laredo's neighborhood, she'll know they're coming. We definitely feel safer. In this demonstration, companies Plan, LED, Gigaterra, and Optera showcase how LED streetlights can become emergency warning signals operated by first responders. So we're very excited to bring it to the streets and uh, this is great to find the partnership with Round Rock. The lights themselves are brighter, but not intrusive, according to neighbors. We really feel that, that we're living in a time that the, the technologies are coming together and not only we can provide visual environment with the lighting, but we can improve the human experience. New lights were installed at the Round Rock Police Department as well and include security cameras, improving the safety exchange zone at the department too. Through this technology now, it is well lit. Um, it feels a lot safer. And not only that, we got the, the technologies with the cameras uh, set up there as well. Most of all, it's shedding new light on what the future of city streets could look like. The important part is we want to be able to have that light and shadows. We want people to feel safe and not worry about those shadows. The new street lights also have the potential to save the city money in energy and maintenance costs as well. In Round Rock tonight, Lindsay Lippman, KITV News.